Doc, and I'm one of the co-founders of The Hood Collective, a cannabis marketing firm based in Portland, Oregon. And today we're going to be talking about a very cool new feature on Instagram that allows you to find out if you've been shadow banned, and if so, why you've been shadow banned. Um, shadow banning is when Instagram or another social media platform, they don't ban you outright, they just don't promote your content because basically they don't like it. And in the case of cannabis, it's something they really don't like because while it's legal in some states, it's federally illegal, illegal in other states, and they it's just something they don't want to mess with. And so rather than outright banning you, unless you've done something you know, very explicitly against their terms of service, um, they'll do what is called a shadow ban. They will allow you to still post and they will allow your content to go to your feed, but what they won't do is promote it outside of your followers. And so in the, you know, when it comes to recommended content or recommended feeds to follow, you won't be showing up in that. And traditionally, one of the best ways, one of the, the few ways to really know if you'd been shadow banned is if you tried to do a search for your name on another account, not the account that you're searching for. And when you're typing in the letters of your name, usually after four or five, depending on the name, it's gonna, start to show up but if you've been shadow banned you have to spell out your name exactly letter for letter before it will show up in the suggested accounts and that means you've been shadow banned and so it makes discoverability of your content and of your account much much more difficult and so up until about a month ago there is no real way to know if you had been shadow banned you could kind of figure it out like I said you could use some tricks to, to figure out that you were, but there's no way to know why you'd been shadow banned. You had to just, it was just a guessing game and you'd maybe post different kinds of content, take down some content and hope that that would work and it would work for a while and then it would stop working because you know, they, they were always changing the things that they're shadow banning you for. And it could be hashtags, it could be what you're typing in the caption, it could be what's in the picture. And so you just kind of, you were kind of narrowing what was allowed within the cannabis sphere. And so that brings us to this big new development that I mentioned at the top, which is that there is a new feature on Instagram that allows you to go into your settings, find out um, which posts of yours have violated their guidelines, and you can delete them. And you know, if you've deleted all the non-approved content, then after, hopefully just a couple days at most, you will start to not be shadow banned again. And so that's an amazing tool when you are a business or if you are a marketer to be able to monitor um, if and why you have been shadow banned and to adjust accordingly. And so before I get into how to do this, how to use this tool, um, let me just say like the implications are really enormous because it allows you to decide which side of the line you want to fall on because now you know exactly where that line is and you can make the decision yourself, do we want to cross the line? If you're a cannabis business, if you're a dispensary, if you're a grower, if you're a producer of some sort, you may decide like, I don't care about shadow banning, you know, the people that care about my content, they're probably also shadow banned. They're posting about the cannabis they're consuming, they're buying, they're, you know, they're doing tests, they're, you know, sharing reviews, things like that. That's your market and you don't care, you know, that's great and you don't have to worry about it. But on the other side of the token, if you are new to the space and you maybe you're starting out with very few or zero followers, being shadow banned can make it really hard to get any kind of traction. And so you probably will be more likely to want to fall on the safe side of the line, make sure that you're not getting shadow banned, build up your audience as widely as you can to start. And maybe in the future, you'll make that decision. Okay, now we got a solid base. Now we can switch into cannabis content and kind of target more directly the cannabis consumers while also having built up a solid following that's still going to get to see that content. 
So whatever you decide, just being able to make that decision and know why you're making the decision and knowing which content you will promote and which content you won't promote because it's going to run afoul of the um, Instagram guidelines, it's really a game changer. All right, so let's go ahead and get right to it. I have my phone right here in my pocket and I'm going to um, show you exactly how to go in and fix these settings. So you wanna be on your phone where you have the account, go into Instagram and there's the three lines up here at the top right. You hit those and you go down and you find settings that's right at the top and then you will go into your account and then somewhere in your account there is the tab for account status. And you click on that and community guidelines that's all good that's that's the that's the one if you're violating their community guidelines that's the kind of stuff that's going to get you banned so you <laughs> no matter what you want that to be a nice green dot but you can see for recommendations guidelines that's the guidelines for whether your content's going to be recommended or not um, you we have a little you know exclamation point in a red triangle and so you click on that and um, it shows you, okay, edit or remove content, and then you have an option to disagree with our decision. Um, so you go in there, and you can see, okay, these are the posts. They're really cool posts. I don't think I want to delete any of them right now, but um, that is the content that's causing me not to get promoted, um, which is kind of a bummer because we have some really good content out there right now. Um, including the stuff that's causing us to be banned. But that's that's all right, we have a good follower base. Um, and so, um, a like just came in. And so there you go. With the disagree with our decision, that that's a cool tool. If you think that they've made a mistake, you can go in there and you can um, say, hey, I, I, this isn't one of the things that I think is going to you, violate one of your guidelines. Um, and, and so you can do that because this is all done by automation. So mistakes will invariably happen at some times. So that is, that is this new feature on Instagram. And it's really amazing for all of you that have businesses or are marketing for cannabis businesses. So um, I hope that you get a lot of use out of this. I hope this helps out um, as you're moving forward on Instagram. Hopefully um, TikTok and some of the other platforms will adopt it. Um, but um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, you can leave a leave something in the comments or you can um, go to our website it's hoodcollective.com um, my contact information is on there and yeah just let me know if this video is helpful it would be great if you left a, a positive comment or hit like that would really help us out um, and help us produce more content like this that um, will help you grow your business so thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time